friends, it's Grace, and today we are doing the love triangle game that was created by Jesse the Reader. This is the perfect one for Valentine's Day. He even did his edition of it on Valentine's Day. So I've got two mugs because they didn't all fit in, in one mug. And we're going to be pulling a name from one mug, and they're going to be the um, point of the love triangle. And then I'm going to take two from this one, and they're going to be the two that are fighting for their affection. We're just gonna see how it goes and then I'm gonna pick which one that they get to be with and which one they are not going to be with. I have to draw attention to the mugs. This one says Tears of My Readers, which I adore, and this one is art inspired by my book, A Million Falling Stars, if you can read that. And I think they go perfectly together because my book does encourage Tears of My Readers. So for the first love triangle, we've got Jude from The Cruel Prince, and then her two love interests are going to be Kaz Brecker from Six of Crows and Rowan Whitethorn from Throne of Glass. So Jude is definitely, we know she's into Faye because of Cardin, and so that makes me think she should go with Rowan, but also I think Rowan would hate her, but Kaz Brecker would also, would he hate her or would he... I don't know if he'd admire her, like, craziness, or if he would think, like, get her away from me. I'm gonna go ahead and say she's gonna end up with Rowan, because I just, she, she's gonna pick whoever is Faye, because that's who she is. Our next love triangle starts with Elosa from Daughter of the Pirate King. I adore her and that book. And her love interests are Max and Shreve from The Selection and Dorian Havliard from Throne of Glass. I'm gonna say she's gonna end up with Dorian. I see that more. Um, she's a little too intense for Maxon, but I think Dorian could handle her. And I could actually see that working out and being like a cute ship. What are you doing, Wendy? Oh my goodness. Next, we've got, who do you think it's gonna be, Wendy? Audrey Rose from Stalking Jack the Ripper and her two love interests when he's when he's so invested. The Darkling from Shadow and Bone and Voldemort. <laughs> I'm gonna ship Audrey Rose with the Darkling. I could see that being interesting. She's already interested in like dark things and even though Thomas Cresswell, her real love interest, like in the books, is such a like cute little cinnamon roll, even though he is also obsessed with dark things. I could also see her going for somebody who's like ridiculously morally gray, and I could see that working out. So I'm gonna ship Audrey Rose and the Darkling. So that's who's gonna win that love triangle. Sorry, Voldemort. Next, we've got Nina from Six of Crows and her love interest, Wendy, is sitting right here. It is very cute. She's curled up on my pillow. I wish you could see her because she's freaking adorable. Nina is paired up with Kale Westfall from Throne of Glass and Raiden from Daughter of the Pirate King. Hmm. I love Kale. I am one of the people who loves him, not one of the people who hates on him. And I adore Raiden as well. But I don't know which one goes best with Nina. Okay, Belly is just licking everything. Belly, why are you so weird? You should all get pugs if you want some extra weirdness in your life. So I think I'm gonna go with Raiden. Or Kaol, ah. Cause I was gonna go with Raiden cause I was like, I could see that. But then I just realized that Kaol is closer to Matthias. Like they're both kind of like, I'm gonna keep all my emotions inside and be a stony cold man brooder. So maybe she'd like Kaol. Okay, I'm gonna go with Nina and Kale. That, you guys may disagree with me and that's fine, you're allowed to. <laughs> Next, we've got Inej from Six of Crows. Did I not shuffle these up enough? <laughs> and she's gonna be paired with Thomas Cresswell from Stalking Jack the Ripper and Nikolai Lansov from The Grishaverse. Very interesting. So Inej, one of her options is from The Grishaverse. I was gonna say that Thomas would be too overwhelmed by Inej, but Audrey Rose is also kind of intense. She's not stabby. Well, I'm gonna go with Inej and Nikolai. I never saw that pairing coming, 
But I think I'm feeling it. If Cass Brecker didn't exist, I would almost want to see that and just see how that like affects the characters and just, I don't know, that would be interesting. Next, we've got, I have a feeling we're gonna have Belly licking in the background the entire time. And she's not licking anything, she's just licking the air. America Singer from the selection. Oh, hi, Wendy. She's gonna sit in my lap now, how nice. I love it. Oh, she's just below the camera so you can't see her sitting in my lap. I'm gonna pull this down a little bit so you can see her because she deserves to be seen. So America Singer, her options in her love triangle are Cardin from The Cruel Prince. I don't see that working out. And Laszlo from Strange the Dreamer. I'm gonna ship America and Laszlo because America and Cardin, that just would never happen in any universe ever. But America and Laszlo, like they're both sweethearts. I, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, they're, they're better together than her and, and Cardin. I, I have a feeling nobody could handle Cardin except for Jude. <laughs> Next, we've got Lila Bard from A Darker Shade of Magic, and she's gonna be with Ash from the Iron Fae series, or Elias from An Ember in the Ashes. She would like Elias more. She would pick Elias. Um, I think Ash is too, can I say whimsical? Does that make any sense? Elias is more like a fighter. I feel like they would get along better, so that's, that's my decision there. Next, we've got Elena from the Shadow and Bone series. Also, as I was writing all these out, I noticed that like half of the female leads in these novels start with an A. Well, why is that a thing? And then she's paired with Rook from An Enchantment of Ravens and Matthias from Six of Crows. So we've got another Grishaverse pairing. I do not see Alina and Matthias together, but I could almost see Alina and Rook together. So I think Alina and Rook are gonna go together. Um, that, would, that would be interesting. I would like to see how that would play out. Next, we've got Belly from The Summer I Turned Pretty. Not this Belly. She is paired with Kel from A Dark Shade of Magic and Ezra Mason from Illumine. Belly would like Ezra. I don't know what else to say about that except that I, I just feel in my gut. Like I know Belly very well because I've read her series more than I've read any other series. I named my freaking dog after her. And so she would, Belly and Ezra. Next up is Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. And she, her options are Elian from To Kill a Kingdom and the Shadow King from The Shadows Between Us. Ah, oh, I loved that one so much. I can't wait for it to come out and everybody to read it. Ah! Oh! Anyway, Hermione. Oh, neither of these clicks with me immediately. She would not work with The Shadow King. So I actually have The Shadow King's name written down, but in case people consider that a spoiler, I'm gonna not put that. But I'm gonna put Hermione and Elian together because that's more likely than Hermione and The Shadow King. I don't necessarily ship it, but I, it's, she would not choose the Shadow King. Like that would not be up her alley. Next we've got Lyra from To Kill a Kingdom. Again, I'm wondering if I shuffled these enough. <laughs> her options are Puck from the Iron Fae series and Warner from Shatter Me. I'm gonna go with Warner and Lyra. Yeah, I like that. Puck is also mischievous, but Puck is mischievous in like kind of a cute way. <laughs> and Warner is, mischievous is too small a word. He's just devious. And so is Lyra. I, that pairing would be really cool. So I'm gonna pair them together. I love Warner. If you guys don't know, Warner is my favorite. I love him, I just, uh. Next up, we've got Juliet from Shatter Me. And her options are Harry Potter, I'm just gonna let you guys guess which book he's from. And Joe Goldberg. <laughs> Joe Goldberg and Voldemort I put in there just for kicks. Why are you stepping on all my characters, Belly? My goodness, what what are you doing? What are, what are you doing? Okay, she, she just sat on my pillow and she's just, she's just gonna hug some of the attention, but that's okay. That's what a pug does. I'm not gonna ship her with Joe Goldberg because I actually care about her and I don't want her to die. Joe Goldberg is from You. Fantastic book, fantastic Netflix series. Love them both. So it's gonna be Juliet and Harry Potter, although I do not know how long that will last because I do not see that 
together. <laughs> All right, we've got just a few rounds left. We've got Aelin from Throne of Glass, and her options are August Flynn from The Savage Song and Day from Legend. She would eat August Flynn alive because he is, while a monster, he is also a cinnamon roll. I'm gonna say Aelin and Day, even though that's not like the best pairing, but I could, they could, it could be, I don't know. I don't know. They're they're from such such different like genres as well. Like hers is like high fantasy and his is dystopian. And so it's weird to like imagine them together, but it works better than I already forgot who the other person was, but it works better than that. <laughs> Second to last love triangle, we've got June from Legend. And her options are Kenji from Shatter Me and Resand from A Court of Thorns and Roses. So that immediately, it's gonna be June and Kenji. Kenji is going to make anybody smile. He's freaking amazing. If you haven't read Shatter Me, read it for Kenji and for Warner guys. Both of who you don't really see the best of until book two, so if you're not crazy about book one, read on because it changes so much. So June and Kenji are gonna end up together. And I, I hope things go well for them. And the final pairing, we've got Alessandra or Alessandra from The Shadows Between Us. Amazing, one of my new favorite main characters, which is uh, Trisha Levenseller. I'm just dying over like her female leads because Alosa from Daughter of the Pirate King, she was like my number one. And now I love Alessandra, Alessandra. I don't know how to pronounce it. A ton as well, and so I just love Trisha's female leads. Okay, so her options are Nick Malakov from Illumine and Peter Kavinsky. Oh my gosh. She would eat Peter alive. So it's gonna have to be Nick, even though I don't see that at all. I wanna steal the Darkling back and ship the Darkling with Alessandra because they would be perfect together. Because the Shadow King is basically the Darkling. He's like the new Darkling. More reasons why you have to read The Shadows Between Us. So I just want to ship Alessandra with the Darkling. That's just what I want to do in general. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a ton of fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. Let me know down below if you liked any of these love triangles, if you hated them, like whatever you want to say. Thank you so much for watching and come back next week for another video. Wendy is so sweepy. Look how cute she is. Mwah.